welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a tutorial on how I turn these plain finials into these real finials. And if you actually saw my uh, lamp video, you know that these would go very well because they're both made of that natural fiber. And so I saw these exact ones in Pottery Barn and I thought, hey, I think I can make these. And um, I actually bought some curtain rods from the dollar store. And although they weren't the right length, I knew that I could easily extend them by buying multiples because they were like $1.25 each. And I could grab two of the larger rods and just put one of the smaller ones in the middle and just extend them that way. And so yeah, keep watching this video and you'll learn how to make one of these. Thanks. A hot glue gun, some rope, scissors, and of course the finials that you'll be changing. First thing you'll need to do is measure out and cut 11 feet of the rope. With your fingers spread apart, wrap the rope five times around your hand. Then you're going to take the free end of the rope and feed it between your ring and middle finger. And you're going to do this three times. Pull your fingers away and place the finial at the center of the rope. You're then going to finish wrapping around the width of the knot two more times. At this point, you should have something that looks like this. And now you're going to take the free end of your rope and feed it through the top and bottom of your knot a total of five times. When you've completed this, you now just need to tighten the knot by following the rope all the way through the knot. This part can sometimes take a while, but you'll finally begin to see your knot taking shape. As you get to the final stages of tightening your knot, be sure to maneuver your rope in such a way that you cover any imperfections, such as the finials poking through the rope. You can then go ahead and cut the excess pieces of rope. You'll then want to do any final adjustments to your knot before moving on to gluing. Gluing is pretty straightforward. You'll want to feed the nozzle of your glue gun in the spaces between the rope and place a good amount of glue on the interior of your knot. Repeat this several times until your knot and finial are secured. Once your glue is dry, you should have a solid finial. All you need to do now is attach it to your rod, hang up some curtains, and you're good to go. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share.